With a battle over the Minneapolis police budget looming, top city leaders made their position crystal clear today. Don't take away our officers. The mayor and police chief were responding to a city council proposal that calls for staff and financial cuts to the department. David Schumann takes stock of the many voices involved in what the future of MPD should look like. Good afternoon. Mayor Jacob Fries proposed cuts to next year's police budget, but three council members have put forward a plan that goes further, roughly $8 million further. President Lisa Bender, Philippe Cunningham, and Steve Fletcher say some of that money should go toward unarmed response teams for non emergencies and mental health crises. The mayor is in agreement about the need for alternate responses. The two sides also call for the same number of sworn officers next year, 770. The difference is that the council members ultimately want to get that down to 750, while Fry and Police Chief Madaria Arredondo want to bring it up to 888. It could be very reckless. Um, and quite frankly dangerous if we start to make decisions of reducing the number of personnel that are needed. Fry and Arredondo say it's hasty to make a decision on staffing levels without the results of an outside study currently being done and without community input. Anna Schmitz with the Fair State Co-op Brewery says, hold on, we've been working with the council. In fact, an open letter to the city's leaders supporting full-time mental health responders has been signed by more than 100 small businesses. There has been a lot of engagement over the past few months, um, and, and now we're really at a time when it's time to act. Navigating through the differing opinions is the chair of the city's budget committee, council member Lene Palmasano. She wants compromise, finding a way to fund safety innovation without dramatically altering police staffing. There's very there's a lot of interest in building new safety nets, right? But maybe we shouldn't take away the old one until the new ones are fully in place. David Schumann, WCCO 4 News. Complicating the issue is how undermanned the department is right now. Since the beginning of the year, the chief says they are down 120 officers. In an average year, the department loses about 45.